Okay. If you're happy and you know what, stomp your feet. Okay, folks. Okay. So I'm gonna start the giveaway happy and you right know at what? the beginning. Because this way, stomp your feet. Uh, okay, folks. Okay. So I'm gonna start the giveaway happy start and you know right at what? the beginning. Hello. Because this way, stomp Land your feet. Uh, okay, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna start the giveaway right, happy and you know right at the beginning. beginning. Hello, because this way, stomp your feet. Uh, okay, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna start the giveaway right, happy and you know right at the beginning. Hello, because this way, stomp your feet. Uh, okay, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna start the giveaway happy and you know right at the beginning. Hello, fixed, 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 fixed. fixed. I'll Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. Allow me to tell everybody that I'm streaming. What a mess. So this morning I I am so sorry. I fixed it. Did it Did it go away? I'm assuming it went away. In bad shape, guys, this morning. I'm so nervous. So I contacted the kitty people about the, the Red Napoleon. That's um, Chester, the little squish cat. The little squishy cat. Um, and I'm posting that I'm streaming. And uh, why is it not saying that you entered? Is it doing that again? Let me see if I can close giveaway. Allow entries. Try it again. This this is a uh, Streamlabs chat lot. Chat bot. Oh, okay. We'll give it another shot. With the exclamation point and see if it works. I'm, I appreciate it with you guys being patient with me about that. There we go. Now it's working. Okay. Apparently the first time I started, it doesn't work. Um, much appreciated. So this is for a plan. This is for on PCEU or PCNA, this plan, Vampiric Carpet Sigil. I'm giving that away. So I applied for the kitty, the, the, the Red Napoleon. He's a very small, he's one of those munchkin cats, um, but, but with better health, apparently. And um, so I'm going, I'm going to see about that. They're going to call me today and talk to my husband and I'm letting him make the decision because he's the one with the doubts. So, I may be getting a new cat. I'm hoping that this one works out. Why isn't it working for MJ? Or didn't it? I got a thing that said that Bayushi entered, Shenzi entered. Why isn't it working for MJ or Ixie? How bizarre. Okay, that's screwed up. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna reset it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna reset it. All right. I don't know why it's doing this. If it screws up again, I'll just pick somebody random and chat later on. Good morning. Um, that is so bizarre that it works with some people and not others and why it stopped working, I don't know. Bizarre. Uh, 
What was I doing? I was doing streaming. Imagine that. Okay, just a couple more and then we'll be ready to go. I do this only when, um, okay. So I posted that, I, yeah, now it's working. I don't get it. We're gonna do what we did last time and leave it open a little while. All right. Um, the event has started. I haven't done it. Oy, oy, oy. This is a red Napoleon. I'm going to show you the picture, a picture of a red Napoleon because um, he is unfortunately taken down from the site. This is just a munchkin, but they look the same. Oh boy. Hello. We're going on EU. I, I didn't finish the beyond behind the glass. I just got a mail back from the lady saying that she's going to hang tight with Chester until he calms down because what happened was uh, the kitty he was the kitty he was rooming with died and isn't doing well, like emotionally well he's not doing emotionally well so apparently we're gonna um, she's just gonna wait until he's not stressed out anymore they had to put down the kitty he was rooming with but he's in good health. So she said just for a couple of days, she's going to hang tight with him, take him to the vet just to have a, an extra senior blood te test done. And uh, so he's just going to be chilling. And that's that. So we're going to wait a couple of days, see how, he does, how he's doing. Poor guy. I don't know. When my cats lost other cats, none of them have ever been depressed about it before. So I don't know what that's, whether that's, you know, a problem or not. I'm going to move this over here. Somewhere that it's not going to interfere too much with what we're looking at. All right. So I'm trying to follow the, the order which I had come up with for doing these things and then like totally got distracted because I got the cat email. We're gonna finish up on EU. Let me get that download. I know, but uh, hopefully we'll get them. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully I'll get them. All right, where is the list? It would be on a theorist. I, I was all prepared to go this morning and then just everything sort of blew up. Because I wasn't ready. All right. Where's the, where's the cat? Oh, the cat, listen to me. Where's the list? List. All right, stabbies aren't bright today. I'm so sorry. Okay, what do we do next? Uh, is it nighttime? No. Hello. 
Oh. Uh, he was a little, the little red munchkin. His picture is no longer up on the site because the cat, cat that he was rooming with died. So they were afraid that he, he was taking it poor, was going to take it poorly. So they decided to take his, his picture down for a couple of days. But yeah, I'm really looking to try to get that. He's, he's a little red munchkin with a big pouty face because he's a cross between a munchkin and a uh, Persian. And so his face isn't as flat. He's got a puffier face than a Siamese would, or than a Persian would. And he's got, um, they basically, in the Napoleons, they bred out the problem with flat faces that Persians have. Because, you know, Persians have terrible health in their face because of that. And they also bred out the problems that the munchkins had with their bad backs. So it's like a perfected munch munchkin is what it's called. You know, it's called a, a Napoleon cat because he's so little. <laughs> All right. We go to, let's go to Ithilis's Hall of Lunar Champion. We're up to yet another Ith another uh whole lunar champion so i'm hoping that this will work out but it's going to be a couple days math no god no but i will link you my link so you guys know i'm 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 busting my butt trying to get those last couple of follows well, the best luck I've had with letting people know has been with Reddit. So if you have uh, Reddit, could you please give me an updoot on that? Much appreciated upvote. Uh, if you don't have a Reddit account, don't worry about it. Because <laughs> Hachiko wants me to go and look at it on, on at night. So, oh, and by the way... Uh, my thing will now tell us, it will do a, it'll do a reminder every so often, letting you know that there's a contest going on, which there is. If you do exclamation point potato, no space in there, um, on PCNA and PCEU, I'm giving away this plan. Oh, wait, I don't have it on this one. Uh, I'm giving a plan away for a vampiric carpet sigil. So, like I said, we're going to be giving away pricey, pricey stuff every day. So the stuff that it, this one says is, did I seriously close this? No, I'll read you the instructions. It says, Peter Pan. There it is, Wendy. Second start to the right and straight on till morning. Instructions, never land a weights just behind the glass. Think of happy thoughts and fly through the window, through the starry night sky to the adventure. All right. We got some Fake doors, I like. Huh. Where's the window? Oh, there's the window. Oh, that's clever! So this is Nana. If you ever uh, watched or read uh, Never Peter Pan, the dog that the darlings owned was called Nana. So this is really dead on. I played Captain Hook in a play in third grade. So I remember all this crap. Is that a... That's a little toy! Oh, look, it's a little toy train! How cute is that? Oh, wow! The bed is a, is a ship. It's a toy ship. Oh, wow, this is so clever. So cool. All right, what else do we have? All right, you're all on, so that's good. Wow. Super nifty, cute stuff. Oh, they sunk this down, so you just get the top of it and get the little dragon. We'll be doing more uh, NA. I just wanted to do a couple more of these behind the glasses before people, uh-oh, that's just a bunny. But we're going to pretend it's not dead. 
Just wanted to do a couple more of the behind the glasses and then we'll go back over. Oh, what? That's a cool... They're, everywhere I look, there's there's cool stuff. That's a nice little chandelier up there. All right, let's go second star to the right and straight on till morning. And look, it's Tinker Nick Sad. <laughs> Instead of Tinkerbell, it's Tinker Nick Sad. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, what? Oh, I had to jump up. Huh. It's it's a clock. That's clever. Okay, I'm just going to face outwards. So this is the way no effects. So these are real torch bugs. Real. We're in the halls of Colossus. But you wouldn't know it. From looking at it. Oh, this is where the lost boys hang out. His little tribe of boys. That makes a lot of sense. Clever. Clever. Clever girl. Is there any? <gasps> There's a pirate ship! Oh my god, we gotta go down. Oh my god, we gotta go down. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Good morning. I have to do an event, don't I, to do that? I don't really wanna do it necessarily. I have to do one of the d dungeons with somebody. But I'm on a, I'm on EU, so I can't right now. We're just looking at stuff. We're looking at a pirate ship. That's what we're looking at. That's so cool. Yeah, IC starts this morning. But you can get tickets by using, um, there better be a crocodile in here. Uh, no, I can't. I don't even, there's the crocodile. Oh, I love it. It's a quar. That's so funny. I can't, I can't do anything in IC. I'll do one of the dungeons. It's no big deal. I'll, I'll beg someone to take me along on a, on a dungeon. This is so cool. This is where Doc, Captain Hook would be. Uh, this is so awesome. All these clever ideas and actually really, really uh, following through on the, on the actual story. Let me see all this stuff. Okay, so this is the back of the ship. The cannon is brilliant. The cannon is brilliant. You might want to turn the fire off though. Yeah, that is well done. Awesome. You really do have, you nailed it. You've got the Lost Boys. You've got the pirate ship. You've got the Darling's House. You've even got the crocodile. Just well done. Well done. And I, I, I think it's so charming. I love it. Good job. I loves it. All right. What's next? Yeah, it's really good. Under the sea. Gosh, there's so many. All right, we're going to Sorry's. Grand Sigic. Yeah. Just the big houses are left in this contest look and stuff. So I'll read you the thing from Sorry's. 
Long ago, a mad, powerful wizard aimed to conquer worlds, doing so by trapping them into snow globes. Journey through the snow to see his enchanted collection. E-H-T effects. I also promised Bayushi I could look at her house today, and I also promised uh, Brevi that I would go back to their home because apparently I forgot something. So, wow! Holy crap! This is gorgeous. It's a diorama again. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at they made they made hot air balloons. This is so beautiful. Look at the little ship. We're all floored, I think. It's so pretty. Wow. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this windmill. Oh my God, with combs. And a jewelry box. This is amazing. This is probably that box of crystals, but upside down. Look how precious this is. This is precious. Oh my God, my precious. Oh my God. And then just making all the roofs and this just looks so good. <gasps> the bridge. Oh, that's just charming as hell. It's like everything I see is even more clever than the last thing. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't be going up here. It kind of breaks the illusion, right? Look at the bat in front of the moon. This is amazing. I love this, Sorries. Yeah. And you know, this makes me that much more happy that she won the plan the other day. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's like an evil version. That is so cool. Oh my god, there's more of this. This would have been enough. But there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh my god. This is a masterpiece. That's Black Reach. Uh, Bosmer Tree. God, this is absolutely stunning. Underwater. I don't have any of the effects. Shit. Sorry, is for whatever reason, the community isn't sending me effects uh, to, for some people. Uh, hopefully, when you're in, when you get on, you can send them to me. But what a mess that it doesn't have them on. But wow, is that beautiful. Yeah, I love this too. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, the sky is just Daedric rock, but with lit right and everything, it's, it's just Daedric rock, but lit well so that it doesn't look like anything other than darkness. Yeah, Daedric Rock. Oh, gosh. Holy smokes. Look at this continuing. This is incredible.
the moon behind it. All right, so you guys remember when I said that, that if someone else with more artistic talent had done my train set, it would have been gorgeous? That mine was adequate, but not, not like this? This is what I meant. This is what I meant. Somebody doing something in miniature it, it, with such panache. I mean, it's so much better than anything that I've ever dreamt of that you can just, I'm just not senseless. I'm discombobulated now by all of this. It's just so beautiful. discombobulated I think that's it as if it needs more but I think that's it absolutely stunning shockingly amazingly good all right for whatever reason I don't think I've done Fizbee's right 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 that's basically what I'm saying this is uh, Sorry's home on EU. I want to see if I went to Thisbee's house. No. So we'll go to Thisbee's. Insert Ravenhurst. And then we'll have, have a couple more in here, but uh, not from the list. Okay. Well, I mean, we all take time. Don't feel bad about it. This is for behind the glass. This is, had no description. Um, so this is Ravenhurst. And I think we can pretty much tell what it is based on what we look, are looking at. It looks to me like that's a street lamp. And that's a, that's a sign. And we're looking into a shop window. Isn't this creative? We've got a shop window for a tailor. And look at that dress. They've got shells. They've got the pocket lint. That's the, uh, the gems are the noble's pocket lint. This is so cute. I love the hat. This is so much fun. Trash in the trash. I like the cat right outside the window. It makes it look more uh, like it really is a store window because there's somebody like stuck outside of it. This is great. All right, let me read what I did wrong for Brevi. Uh, to do that, I'm going to find it real quick. Give me a moment, I'm trying to find my brevi. Yes, obviously. It is. Thank you for visiting my tell Galen. I watched it on your Twitch. Great fun. I invite you to take one more look as tell Galen Tower is not walled off. The elsewhere dirt rings have no collision and it is meant to be a bit of a secret area that not many will find. But if you would look like a look, I'll be very welcome. You are very welcome. 
There is also a secret pirate boat with a mini Kraken that you can find at the sea villa by jumping over the hedges to the sea as you would go into the Eleanor greenhouse I placed. Look to your right hand side as you enter the greenhouse, you will see it. All right, let's see if we can do this. Sounds kind of complicated. And while we go there, I need my second coffee. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. <sighs> For those of you who have not yet entered, uh, exclamation point potato for PC will get you entered into getting a sig vampire sigil plan for a carpet. All right, let's see if we can figure this out together, folks. So first things first, I can try to show you. I'll see if we can figure it out together what the problem might have been. So the entrance is not closed. Oh, the sand. I never would have guessed. Look at this. Even if you're not here, um, Did I say something wrong? Oh my God, then let me fix that. That's in my, uh, my bot. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Oh my goodness, thank you, Homerian. Oh gosh, I feel so embarrassed now. Okay, that's now fixed. Derp, derp. The next time it pops up, it will not do that. You do not have to be on to win the giveaway. I will pull it later. So let me just add that. There you go, now that's fixed. All right, so this is the sneaky sneaky. You know, some people get upset with being uh, criticized or, or mistakes that they've made being po pointed out. I'm like so thankful because I don't want to look like a moron. If you're pointing out that I'm looking like a moron, I want to fix it. So we've got pathing with the creepy dog. Basin of loss. So this is the whole, this is an interior of vampiric secret, sneaky, sneaky. I like. Exactly. This is the truth. Some people get sensitive about it, though. I, I don't. Wow, what's behind here? A sink, a bath, with plumbing. That's true. We can go to your house next, Bay, if you want. If you have effects, you should probably share them with me. For whatever reason, uh, I'm not getting effects. 
they're not showing up for most people. Although there's six in here, I'm seeing. Okay. So this is the bedroom, the vampiric bedroom. And then I'm gonna go head down to see if we can get, wait. I'm gonna see if I can get to the ship he's talking about, he or she. No. Nope, not toggled off. What had happened, I love this. Remember the little floating animals? No, what had happened is uh, I'm having issues with community. Some people are too because they're, for whatever reason, they're, um, <clears throat> they're not able to post open houses. They're not sticking. Um, same thing with uh, the effects, I think. For whatever reason, there's just some sort of quirk that's going on. Now, he said go towards one of the... One of these. Ah, I see it now. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that fixed it. Oh, good. Look at that little pirate ship. Oh, that's so cute. And look, there's a crack and stick it out. Thank you. That is some funny stuff with the Kraken. I will release it. All right. That is funny. We'll go to the door and then I'll load them up. I think it's Proud Spire, right? I think so. Mm. Almost didn't see. I see a little pokey. Oh, this is what this was here. Okay. Let's get cracking. That was terrible. I love it. That was terrible. I love it. Oh, looks like J. Hart Ellis will be visiting the 40 entries from behind the glass contrast this Saturday, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So if you, I sort of, scooped him on that and I feel a little bad about it. Is that how that normally looks? I guess I've never seen it up. Odd. All right. I see nine effects. Weird bollocks. How many effects should there be? So nine. Okay, cool. Then I'm not broken. All right, good. Oh, I love that. Look at that chandelier. I'm trying to figure out what it's made out of. I know those are, are red guard lamps, but I'm not well sure what those top pieces are. Incense, maybe? Not sure. Pots. High elf pots or something. Amazing. There's a key and a book. I don't know why I keep falling in, but the, a, a coat rack. That may be the first coat rack I've ever seen. Where did she go? She ran away. All right. It does look good, baby. She. We've got paintings everywhere. Reskin with uh, Eleanor bookcases, it looks like. And paintings. And then I remember this. I remember seeing the windows out and I had said when J Hart came up here that it reminded me of you were inside a, a tell or a, a mushroom. Oh, I really like that. That fire is really blazing. Wow. 
beauty. That is stunning. I don't remember this from last time, Bay. Did you add that? Because that seems new to me. And then we closed off the garden here and made a detailed kitchen. Beautiful stove. This is great with the pipings. Pictures buried in. It is, it really is regal. Knife racks. I love the new trend of using knife racks. I did take a picture of this sink, I, I think. You see the two pieces are little mouths. Very nice, very nice. Mouths. All right, let's go up. Wow. I don't even have one. I hate you. I don't even have one of those chandeliers. Sad Christmas. Look at all the windows. That's a lot of dragons. They're right there. That is a lot of dragons. You know, it's the work that goes into it that I definitely appreciate more than anything else because I can tell, you know, how much work went into that. I think we all can tell how much work went into that. Um, you mean cobbling? I would assume that Swankery's streams. Shit, did I not do shout outs? Let me do shout outs. Uh, I would assume that Swankery streams have them. And then uh, there's another streamer, Ula Kapala. And Disco Sleaze does music. And did, did I miss it, miss anyone else? Any other streamers? On? Oh, Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls does some building, but he also does regular content. He's a great guy. Make sure you follow. These people are all awesome people. And it's really enjoyable to just have this great community. Some nights I'll just turn on Twitch and suddenly I have a friend in the room. You know what I mean? Like I get so lonely and then watch one of these folks and I feel so much better. And I recommend that you do that too if you're feeling, if you're feeling down and lonely. Oh, wow a filing system this is like i want this to be an archive it's like a a genealogist dream especially the people who stream later like elder scrolls you know he and disco both of them tend to stream in later on in the day and i like that because it's i i don't stream then and it makes me feel so much more less alone you know, you're welcome. So are the, these are the tops of storage cases, I think, put on a, on their side. And this is like a wine cellar, probably refrigerated is my guess. Ah, yes, I saw you making this. This was uh, this great pool table. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, so appreciated right now. Desperately, desperately need follows. Um, trying so hard we got like a hundred people to follow and then now it's like dead it's barely um, i mean every person is like a fight unfortunately a lot let me look i think i'm at 892 or something if i'm right 
892. If it doesn't surprise you, I know to the number. Um, what are you up to, Parari? Sneaky, sneaky. Oh my God, that fireplace. Yeah, you know, she was showing me this while she was making it. Here's the thing. This is four carpets. This is four of them because it didn't just follow. It didn't just fit. Look at how she lined them up so perfectly that, especially during the COVID era, Ula, this is four carpets so perfectly lined up. Well, I don't want to bother people either. That's part of the problem. I, I hate being a, a jerk face and, and being spammy or anything. I, I don't know. I'm having trouble with it. And we've got a cigar. Very nice. With incense and uh, probably one of the tools. I don't know what you have this resting on, though. There's, oh, the bottom of one of the vases has this section. I'm just, it's less about being humble and more about feeling bad with bothering people. I don't know. I try really hard not to bother anybody. You did? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, it's just, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for those of you just joining, if you hit exclamation point potato, I'm giving away a... There you go. That tells you all the details. Um, there you go. Sorry, we just looked at your house. Holy shit. All of us mouth dropped. That was insanity. Sorry. I've never seen anything like it. Never. It's incredible. It was just amazing. We loved it so much. It was, all of us were saying nice things. So you should go back and watch the video late, later because it's, it's kind of mind blowing. Mits and bikes. Hi. Oh my gosh. That back wall, Bayushi. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that is. That's all of those uh, echoes of Aldmeris flipped, or maybe not flipped, but sunken in so you don't see the picture. That's absolutely stunning. I did. I did see your tiny windmill. I loved it. I was squeeing over it. <laughs> I totally was squeeing over it. Oh, wow. Look at the inlay of co of the copper or bronze or what the hell is it? Brass? That brass inlay. I mean, just, just incredible. So many good ideas. And the and the achievement items. Yes, we loved it. I, I, I know a lot of, I like to notice small things. Um, I just really appreciated it. The whole thing was just lots of detail and really awesome. And this bed too, does not exist like that. These, this is made of uh, echoes of Aldmeris. You know that big picture that you can get from antiquities? It's just sunken in enough so that you can't see the painting. You just see the outlines. Thank you so much for the follows. They are so needed. Oh my God. What did you make that out of? All right, I'm stumped. I don't know what that is. Bottoms of something. Some kind of furniture bottoms? Are those elsewhere furniture feet? Those are the moonlight mirrors? Just the feet, right? Oh my gosh. Now 
now I can see somewhat of a... I get it. That's absurdly good. And, and look at the crests on the wall. What are these called again? Moldings. Um, crown moldings? No, I can't remember what they're called. There's one, there's a name for the ones that are in the corner. I should know all these terms if I'm looking at houses. And then the desk with all the stuff on it. This one room, you could just sit here and count all the incredible, there's wallpapering, there's this sign turned backwards. This is actually that uh, ugly ass yellow stitch picture from, from elsewhere just flipped backwards. And then you've got a piece of fabric just this is probably one of the five pieces of fabric or the three pieces of fabric and then sunk it down just perfectly so it's just one piece of fabric showing really outstanding and it's all just one room i mean the whole house is like that but that one room is absolutely showstopper. Remember when I say that everything needs a punchline? As amazing as this whole house is, that is the punchline right there. That, that room is the punchline. That was amazing. Beautiful. Great job, baby she. Seriously, this is just incredible. Did I miss anything? It's entirely possible I missed something. So many details. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Fantastic job. Um... It's good. It's a good usage. Beyushi, Brevi, Hachiko-chan have to go at night. Okay, let's let's go back to NA and we have more to do for Housing's Finest. If I have to come back to EU for anybody, that's fine too. Um, I asked somebody. There was someone who sent me a message. Ah, here we go. Clockwork. I mean, I see why it took you so long working on it, Bay. I love you guys so much. I was getting compliments from Griff yesterday. He's ridiculous, though. He he says some things that he's so he's so crazy. He's like, "You're gonna overtake uh, J Hart in popularity." I'm like, "Not quite." <laughs> J Hart has uh, like thousands more people than me. I appreciate the kind words, but it ain't gonna happen. J Hart has 6,000 followers. 6,000! Do you have any idea how popular he is? I have not even 1,000. I have now, because of the followers, 896. I'm like, yeah, that ain't happening. And not to mention, why would I even want that to happen? He's my friend. I want him to get successful, be successful. I hope so. I mean, I don't like pushing people so hard, but uh, I'm getting on now. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Hello, my M. Crisp. I'm recognizing all these names from people I sent fish to. Um, what was I saying to you guys? All right, fight for the ruby throne. 
he is he is a good friend and actually in my most recent video I did a, a video on MM and how to best use it I actually say in it uh, that the best place to go for market trends is J Hart beyond a doubt um, thank you it changes every day I do I do something different with her every day but uh, yeah, I mean, no one catches on to trends faster than Jay Hart. No one predicts them faster than Jay Hart because he sees them coming. He, he, he's like a stockbroker or a person who can predict the markets. Like he'll say, oh, this company is going to be doing this, so their stock's going to take off. Well, he looks ahead and says, these furnishings are coming down the road people are going to need this ingredient buy it up right so that's that's generally if you want to know about that if you want to know about market trends follow him and watch his uh his money stuff and he is a friend and he does support me he does call you know shout outs he's trying to do promotions for me and i support him too i talk about his contests and he's a good person um, but then again, all of you guys are, you know, you're all really kind of amazing people. So I've really only met like one or two jerk faces in the whole thing. And honestly, when I really ponder it, I think it's just them and there's something wrong with them because they're, they're going through a hard time or something's really wrong or whatever like maybe their lives are really crappy right then i try not to get too hung up on the way that certain people treat me because i'm assuming it's just they're just going through something all right let's do our rando and then we'll do uh the housing's finest i mean honestly when i was young um ooh. Let's go to the Skyrim Glacier Lake and Stillwater's Retreat. Um, honestly, when I was younger, I would take all that stuff very personally. You know, but in being 43 has its benefits. <laughs> and one of them is that I don't care anymore when people say, uh, or I do care, but it go, it, my care disappears faster now. Uh, now that I'm older, I'm like, mm -hmm. Probably they're having a bad day. Broke up on the wrong side of the bed. They probably don't mean it. Or, hey, maybe they're mentally ill. Maybe there's something wrong. You know, that kind of thing. So, who knows? Contests. Contests. DDA. Let's do the separate DDA. That's Divine Design Alliance Contests. We are going to tour the Not Safe for Works. There will be a special stream where I have it marked uh, for, whatchamacallit. It will say only 59 items. Then, that's not like you. I'll just poke through real quick. Um, there will be a warning on that particular stream saying it's not safe for work, it's not safe for kids. I think Zen's still working on this because it's only 56 items, but I want to see where the effects are because there's six of them. I want to see if... Yeah, you do. Well, I think part of it is just you're not as invested anymore in, in any of it. Oh, look at the fishies! Okay. I see what you're up to. Very cute. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I can't wait either. Um, I've seen some really dirty stuff. Some of it has to be, hey, I'm mentally ill too. I'm also kind, but some people can't be both. Yeah, I try to be good to people. Oh gosh, wait till you turn 50. My mom went like negative fucks. All right. What was I doing? Wait, view down. Negative bucks given. All right. Housing's finest builders. 
Uh, also, we have a contest for um, wait, what did I do with it? Here we go. You, Lucian and Unicorns um, is Rainbow Rainbow Explosions. And that is due 9-6. And it's Coming up in three days. Winners will be selected based on time spent. I don't know how they're going to determine that. But it says some of the simplest looks can take time. Creativity, item use, and fitting the theme. And there are multiple judges for it. Yeah, my mom just turned 70. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her what you said, Jemima. Um... She's having a hard time with it. You know how it is. You know, getting older sucks. And, uh, it's, it's, that's unfortunate, Ula. That's too bad. I think these are still the old ones. Yeah, th these are still the old ones. So I'll just go to them directly. Yes? Did I do something wrong? I know. I'll just go to them directly. That's fine. I just realized it. I didn't know. It's not a problem, though. Uh, CC Youper got back to me and said that they fixed it. So I'll just go to CC Youpers to start. I'm sorry. Sometimes I miss these things. God, the repeating uh, reminders are so nice to not have to take up your time saying these things all the time. I feel so bad about it. Uber. Let's see if this is fixed. Cold Harbor. They sent me a message saying it was fixed, so. Oh, honey, you got nothing to worry about, really. It's two extra clicks. It's not a problem, Sir Effie. You do so much. Yeah... Yeah, um, I'll tell you though, I didn't go purple haired. I did go purple haired for a while, but I didn't do it until I stopped practicing law because believe it or not, people have a little bit less faith in attorneys who have purple hair. Just saying. They just want their attorneys to look conservative, unfortunately. So let me read the background on this. It says, there's a reason it's called the ballroom bar. So, so in the bars and restaurants, this will be the bar section. Let's see what this entrance is. Nothing wrong with that, but I mean, it depends on your and your employment. It's an outhouse. Oh, that's so clever. Really, and the incense and everything going. That's so fantastic, Youper. Well, I, yeah, well, not just the judge, but also the, the, the clients, believe me, believe it or not, clients really want you to be traditional too. So I like the tables and chairs. The tables are sigic. Look at the walls. This is actually quite creative use of these balls. I am not normally a fan of these balls, but this is a great usage. Ah! Sorry, I ran into things. Being nosy. This will be a dance floor, presumably. A little gaming area. Very nice. And this will be where the band goes. Look at that detail. You've got someone on bells. Look at the little stand, music stand. You got someone on gong. You've got an Argonian drum with drumsticks that are unfortunately floating. So you burr, I think your your stuff may have moved on you. I'm sorry, it happens to us all. Um, and then you've got, oh, that sounds interesting, Azalea. Then we've got the frog collar. We've got a harp. 
We've got the horn, we've got the dragon horn, and then we have the war horn. So that's gonna be an interesting band. And then the dance ball. What do they call that? The dance ball, the glittery ball. I never remember what it's called. And this is the VIP room, clearly. So this is just a bar. There's no food here. There is just a bartender. So you get what she chooses to serve you and here's some peanuts. <laughs> this is really clever and fun. I like it. Oh, that's true. It is Eleanor, isn't it? That's interesting. I had not thought of that. So we'll do Corundum's Cinnabar Way, Way, West, Way Rest Bakery and Bar in Car Gardner. So we'll go over there. You know, the bathroom is a really clever touch. I really like that. Because it's a bar. You're drinking a lot. You gotta pee. <laughs> Those are Sigic, Grand Sigic tables. They're bound when you make them. When you get uh, to Ori, not Orizon, uh, a, a, what is the name of the place, guys? I can't remember the name of the town or the place zone. Not Aetherius, uh, whatever, I can't, Arteum. When you get to Arteum, there's a lady there who sells plans and she'll sell you that plan. But you can't sell it, unfortunately. You have to, um, ooh, I see effects. You, you have to make them for yourself because they don't sell. Look at the closed windows. That's so clever. By using these, it looks like you've closed up the blinds or the shutters. Yeah, she's standing right in front of the main building when you go. And we have a beautiful floral arrangement with things that are droopy, things that are flowery, and things that are tall, which is what you're supposed to do. And we've got cherry-topped or, or strawberry-topped treats, which are really, I think, radishes or something else, I forget. And there's a little bread plate. Cheese and, and grapes. And cookies, I want to guess. These are bottoms of potion bottles. And these are bottoms of mugs. Oh. And that is a stupid looking uh, pot. But when used as a shade, it's actually gorgeous. Look at that. That's a really nice idea. Um, not a fan of this uh, as a pot, but as a shade it's gorgeous and this is these flooring things are effects obviously they refloored over here with the new s solitude floors and some rugs they've got gaming going on they've got some sort of cookies here i don't know what they would interpret them to be but they're ivory <laughs> yeah right it's it's like a faux tiffany just like what you said you're absolutely right. It gives it a really stained glassy kind of look. You're right. That looks lovely. And then they added flowers to the tree. Quite nice. And then they've got stuff in the cubbies. Lots of obus. Oh, look at the cake. Goodness, there's so many details. So this cake is made out of sweet rolls and fruit. And I think... A shimmering cheese at the top. Yeah, there's a... That might even be two shimmering cheeses, but it's at least one. Do you? I don't know. When it's laying down... I'm assuming this is the bathroom. When it's just used as a pot, for whatever reason, I feel like it's a little gaudy. But to each their own, we all have our own preferences. Right? Huh. I wonder.
wonder what this is. Ooh. Target. It makes you wonder what's in the, in, is this just for smoking or is there something underneath or what? What's going on in there? I can't peek under the stairs. I totally want to go down in the cellar. I want to see what's down there. All right, let's go up. What a feast. Look at that centerpiece. That's gorgeous. Another cake. Cheese and it's like a cheesecake. I'm thinking something like that. Another sneaky, sneaky door I can't get into. Good way of uh, limiting item count, too. Let's see if there's an outdoor eating area. Okay, we've got Gor they want Corundum went to the trouble of doing a garden uh, in this <clears throat> place that is actually quite gorgeous. And, you know, I thought with the item limit, they'd have everything inside, but they have a gorgeous garden out here. And steps up! Oh, you got a stable. What's up here? A little second dining room. Where people are gambling. Look at this. I've never seen anybody take advantage of this front section. This is genius. I mean, I've seen people build up up against the side of the other wall. I've never seen anybody build up like this before. This is really fantastic. This is, this is awesome. And I love building up, so this is really impressive. Fantastic idea. This makes me want to buy this house. Genius. Super impressed, Corundum. Excellent job. Oh, maybe. All right, what's next? Yeah, next one's uh, R rated, so we'll skip over that. Lady Vey 2014 Earth Terror Cavern at the end of the lake. A place for all to gather at the end of the hard day at the end of a hard day of looting and pillaging, and a good lake view is always a calming feeling. Oh sure, sure. Yours is twin arches, right? And then we'll go back to we'll go back to the next. No problems. Hey, that's cool. I appreciate it. If you need me to move things around, I'm always willing. Which one is it? Lynchel. I was looking at the old things, I think. The old, uh, the old portals. So let's go. And that's why I got confuzzled. Yes, I do want to run a, uh, a thing. So I'll tell you what, uh, since today is Thursday and not Friday, I won't be running into any housing streams on Jay Hart's part. So after I finish the housing stuff, I might just do some runs to get what I need for the tickets. Maybe that's why I was thinking of it. Holy shit, <laughs> excuse my language, but this is not what the front of Lynchel looks like. Wowzers. You really do, uh, it reminds me of your, this reminds me somewhat of your moon sugar if I'm not on crack. Yes, I will look at your description. Let me find it down here. Here we go. Where'd it go? 
Oh, here it is. A.D. vets of the war in Cyrodiil transformed this abandoned temple into a place for their comrades to drink or dance away the woes of war. war. So it's a veteran's bar and dance and bar. Huh. It's, I love the fact that you use those sandy looking rocks to, to cut off the, the view. So you don't see anything that takes you out of it, out of the illusion, right? That can often be a killer when it comes to working against the house like this. Wow. I always forget that Lynchell has this much space in front of it, but this is amazing. It's enormous. Look how much space you got. Okay, so I love this little trick. This is uh, the Merkmeyer candle up the side down. It, the wax part looks like you're, you're spreading dough. I love that trick. And then this is a trophy just flipped upside down. It looks like a cutting board. And this oven is unlike any, or it's an oven, right? I never always use the wrong word, but that oven is like nothing I've ever seen. The Eleanor with the sarcophagi and the fireplaces and the spit. Don't usually see spits. That's pretty unusual. And then this is the new trough, I think. And she made this gorgeous uh, sink around the trough, and there's uh, plates inside, so it looks like the dishes are being washed. And those are all Welkin stones, Tenzel Welkin Kalanda stones. So AD, you can see it. You've got the the stuff up here, the AD flags, you've got the touches of High Elf, you've got the High Elf uh, lights, and then right next to it you've got the Bosmer drinks for the Bosmer who come by. This looks like a cooking surface, a granite cooking surface, but it's not granite. Marble? Marble cooking surface? Surface? Words are hard. This would be the bar. I'm barely into this thing and I've got so much to say about it. This is like a feast room for that candle. I'll tell you what, after this, I'll, I'll pull the, what is this? I'll pull the plan. This is a fish, fish, I guess it's just refrigeration when you don't have for when you don't have any kind of refrigeration. This would be good, right? And then you've got the well to bring up water. Oh wow, look at that! Yes, that is lore friendly. I think more so than. So that's making use of the water that's already here, but adding the these as I fall to my death um, not only waterfalls are added but I think these are the moons blessed yeah so you've got multiple things going on here to make the water look light and pretty and magical almost this must be insanely gorgeous at night I can only imagine how beautiful this is at night imagine how much that would glow it would be beautiful. And then the little stuff tucked in here. Oh, there's so much. I have to go upstairs too. I don't want to miss anything, but we've got Zura hanging out. Wow. See, that's clever. I wish I could see this at night. I I guess it's never really night in here. Or maybe it is, because there is some sunlight over there. And then we go up, and we've got statues, and a smoking, a smoking lounge. I see an Alfique over there. 
and then did you know that there's actually like lore in real life about what it means when what it means when each of the statues has feet up or not in the United States and the United Kingdom, an urban legend states that if the horse is rearing both front legs in the air, a rider died in battle. One leg up means the rider was wounded in battle. And if all four hooves are on the ground, the rider died in battle. Uh, I don't know if that's true. They're saying that it's an urban legend. They're saying there are some examples that don't fit. So, he died outside of battle, possibly. And then, but that's such something that I had always heard, but it sounds like there's some, some in, things that don't follow that. When you go to Remen or Senchal, rather, these are used as Alfique houses. So I keep thinking of them as little Alfique houses or, oh, look at the way you made little cozy seats. And they're all for the different races. So you've got the Bosmer section over here, if you want to sit in a Bosmer section. And then you've got a Khajiiti area. And then you've got more High Elf. And then you've got, um, this is actually High Elf. This is Alinori. So you've got extra spaces for the high elves because, you know, they're, they're important. They like to think they're important. And then this is a, a nap lounge or a sleeping area. Okay. Go, go stand where the high two, elf two shares are and look up and to the right. Other right? Oh! You made a griffin's nest up there! What a clever little Easter egg touch! That's so sweet! It kind of makes me want to make a whole build like that. Just the griffin's nest up on a mountain or something. That's such a sweet touch. Amazing. I'm glad you told me to come look at this now. I didn't want to miss it. I would have missed that little note, that little Easter egg. And then this is where their, their chapel is, I guess. They're praying after for those they have lost. That's a really good way to use these doors or these gates. Downstairs. This is, uh, believe it or not, Lynchel. She made this out of Lynchel. This is, oh, bye. Jabroa goes skittering by. What did I miss? Missed a room. I'm assuming up here I missed it. That's where Fizzazz hangs out. Yeah, he just zoomed by me. I'm like, hi, Jerboa, bye, Jerboa. And a fox on the rocks in the front to the right. A fox on the rocks in the front on the right. fox on the rocks in the front to the right I may not see him to the right when you come in so to my left I don't see him or her Sneaky, sneaky. 
Maybe it's hiding. Do you have it pathing? Maybe I'm looking too high. You anybody see it? Anyone see the fox on the rocks? Am I blind? Lol, go to the door. Go back to the door, I can lead you. Just between two spots, though, there to your left. Oh, I just saw him move. There he is. There he is. That was a good idea to make him move just a little bit. And I see him now. That's subtle. He might be in a box. All right, so I missed one room, right? Or did I get them all? That's beautiful. Look at the way the light comes through. This is fun. It's kind of amazing to me. Yeah, I, I haven't done anything with it. Thank you, though. Thank you for, for, for letting me, uh, walking me through it. And you're all welcome to walk me through things when I'm being stupid. The next time it reminds people to do exclamation white potato, I'll pull it. Lady Bay 2014, Earth Tier Cavern. Of course. Lady Bay 2014, Earth Tier. Um, Ansley had a personal emergency come up, and so was she wasn't able to do the bid like she normally did, and there was some sort of miscommunication between her and the officers about who should try to get the backup bid. So it wasn't really snapped away so much as they forgot to bid, or Ansley couldn't bid and the rest of them didn't know they were supposed to. So we'll be back next week. It was just a mistake. It happens. Not the end of the world. If you're in ETU, you get the money anyway. It's not a big deal. You can float a week. She feels terrible, though. And she really shouldn't feel terrible because it's, you know, it's just a traitor in a... It's all pixels. She shouldn't feel so bad. Wiggly Broccoli. I like that they left, okay, it's in the Hagraven's things. And this is a beautiful garden. Yeah, especially, yeah, during the middle of the day, of course. Makes perfect sense. Um, what did this say? A place for all to gather at the end of a hard day of looting and pillaging, and a good lake view is always a calm feeling, a calming feeling. Ooh, this is a lovely place for it. Oh my gosh, Disco, if you're still on, there's a, uh, Fizez is the DJ. And then, um, you've got the speakers. Those are crazy. What are those? Are those amps? I don't know anything about DJing, so I can't really tell what that's supposed to be. But the rest of it I get. That's awesome. And then we've got the bar. It's serve yourself. Get your butt up and serve yourself. But there's tasty noms, too. We've got all sorts of food going on. There's actually quite a variety of food, too. It's not just one thing over and over. And you can serve yourself what you want. I would totally be taking the bread and cheese because that's how I roll. And you've got... Tithis is probably making the food. What's in here? Lots of food storage. Containers are, this was really thought through, like where all the dishes are, 
was really thought through. Stacking them was. This is all really... I love a good designed kitchen and these are beautiful. Um, you see this part here? This is the orcish cabinet. It's this open thing. If you don't ignore the bottom left piece and it's just this, it's like an upside down L and um, it's great for kitchens. It's fantastic. And then just adding this extra piece here makes it look even more accurate. I actually used the part of this myself in my build. So that's beautiful. A good kitchen. And I think that's it, which is more than enough because it's lovely. And the gardening is so pretty too. Looks like an Ouroboros crate. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Didn't need one of those. We did one of those. Let's do Mantup's Creek, Sleep Creek. And then I'm going to take a quick break. Dial break. While we, while we port. I'll be right back. Okay, it, it pulled it again. It called it again. I'm gonna pull it. I think Jemima, you were already entered, so it's not gonna make you a problem. I think you've already been in there, so I'm gonna pull the uh, the giveaway. Let's go pick winner. Shinzi, congratulations. Shinzi, are you on EU or NA? That's fantastic. And then I'm gonna take the timer away for that one. Congratulations. I think you're on NA, Shinzi. Well, that means you get your prize that much quicker. I don't have to go to EU and buy it. Congratulations. There will be another equally pricey. Oh yeah, you are, aren't you? I'm a dummy. There will be an equally pricey plan going for giveaway tomorrow as well. So we're going to keep that up so that I can give you guys lots of plans. And I know most of you, if not all of you, were here anyway, regardless of the plans coming to you or not. But I think it's, uh, it's a nice way to recognize how awesome you guys are. 
So this is Sleet Creek Manta Sugar Tooth ho Hookah Bar. Oh, good. Manufactures the finest moon sugar and other products. Clients are welcome to try the product in the lounge. I don't think we had one which was also a moon sugar harvesting area. I think we had a skooma den, but not, not a skooma farm. This is like a winery almost. I mean, actually, this is really accurate because I think sugar cane, doesn't sugar cane grow in water or near water? I don't remember. I may be wrong about that. Monkey! Monkey's gonna get high! That's some funny stuff. That monkey is gonna be high as a kike. Is anyone else having terrible choppiness? Um, Griff just sent me a message saying that his is very choppy this morning. Just want to make sure if it's me or not. Sometimes you guys are too nice to say. Okay. That poor monkey. So they're, they're shipping it too. Okay, thank you. And they're cutting it up. And then they've got a fox or a doggy running through. And here's the shipping concern. Dry conditions. Okay. I think I'm thinking of rice. But that's still cool. I mean, it's all imaginary anyway, so. Okay. It's, it, I think it's on his end, actually. He thought it was on his end. So this is where... Whoa! If you mess up, she just reaches back and chops you in the head. That is just messed up. And then if that wasn't acceptable, there's also a dagger. And there's another axe. They ain't messing around. You mess with these people. And you're going to pay for it. And there's a mirror to put the skooma on. Or the moon sugar on, rather. Very smoky in here. As is not terribly surprising. And then you've got little snacks. I wonder if they give it to you as much as you want for free. Because then some people would never leave. They'd just live here. And never leave. So, we got a skooma den. A, another skooma den. But a different kind. Alright. Al Velothi Harbor House Maruniad. We've got... Take in... Wait. Take in the best views in Vardenfell at... Old Velothi Matsi Garden. Matsi. Matsi? I can't pronounce it. Marunayad. Old Velothi. Mazte. Mazte, I think, is how you pronounce it. That's what I meant. All right. Yeah, that is a problem. All right. This is how it's spelled, and I was just butchering it, I think. But this is Mazte Garden. It's Maru Nayad, and... Ooh, pretty. I want to get up and put this thing away. So we have like a waterfall centerpiece type. Is that grave in there? What is that? 
I'm not sure what that is. Maybe part of a statue? Uh, no effects, so these are torch bugs. I see. I think they use the sintered rock, what are they called? Posts that come with this house to make this a round piece like that. Eek. Econix. Look at this. Uh, okay, so what I really like about gardens is, is when you layer a lot in them but here's a tip and it's a good one the way that the way that Marinayat has done it is a good way for me to show you and explain to you what I think really works for gardening um, either I think either you would put a candle somewhere in it or some other kind of light like the, a candle so that it's like here so you get this beautiful little lighting ambiance or just put a couple glowy plants here and there i have i think especially at night it gives it a little something something that you need just need a touch more lighting and and this is a good way of doing it like for example using a crystal like this or those moon vines or is, is another good way of doing it just a touch of light i did this I mean, I, I really think it works for gardening. I've been using that technique now. Not in all my houses. If you go to some of my houses, you'll see it doesn't quite, I don't use them all the time, but. Ooh, a vard bark. They are, those new wide white ones are so pretty. And this is great. This is a multi-layer section here there's also stairs in the back I want to see if they lead to the same place or not are we supposed to go up here no oh that's lovely I'm not sure maybe one of the bottles one of the Regar bottles and then you stay up here and drink or eat or whatever Let's go down to the other stairway. There's a Nyx Hound, I guess. There's also a High Elf bottle that might match. I would have to put them right next to, next to it to see if it matches exact, but. Oh, and this is the beer section or the drinking section. That's awesome. Well done. Gardening and lighting is good and just a really nice, pretty place. Let's see what's on the inside. Wow, they did the inside too. And then, oh, they had to cut most of it off, I would assume. And then they probably pay in here or this is the office or something like that. So that's cool. I'm just looking at what else is left. Wow, there's a lot. Okay. Uh, let's do Panda Pants' Domus. We haven't done Domus in a while. It says... Secrets around every corner. Not all tapestries are walls. Okay. And for those of you who have read it, if you would do me a huge favor um, and updo me, 
on Reddit, I would appreciate it. I'll give you the link. If you don't have Reddit, don't worry about this, but if you do, the dudage is appreciated. Okay, we've got a stable outside, and then, oh, this is nice. No effects, 393 items, so everything in here is handmade without, or you know what I mean, no effects in here. See, that's a clever idea. You can do this too, if you want to, and you can even just use a barrel that doesn't have a top even too. It's just use these sconces as swords in a barrel or in a container or hanging on something so that it looks like you're selling them or you have a bunch of them available. It's a really nifty trick. Those look like pole arms. And we've got, we've got a moo and a bar. The blue lighting is interesting. It, uh, so we've got all the different bottles and stuff. So Tithis can serve us. And then they've got stuff that, that's true. That's got a story to it, I guess. And Tithis, Tithis was my bartender too. It really kind of, he just looks like a bartender. Oh, you can get back here. So my guess is, is that the VIP rooms are hidden. Oh, thank you so much, Jemima. Okay, we've got, I see there's another way up, but we're gonna pretend like there isn't. So we've got, a little pool area another way i of course i i always have your best interests fingers crossed i'm very worried about people with jobs i'm worried about people with apartments i'm worried about my friends and all of you with the, with all of that stuff covid your health i'm constantly worrying about you guys so this is a, another take on the, the, the um, whatchamacallit table. What do you call it? Thank you, Dway. Yeah, it's awful. What is that called? A, a... Guys, my brain. I have to take my medicine today. I have to take my um, Humira for my uh, medicine for my RA. So I'm a little foggy. And then those are all the different, you use, uh, oh my gosh, pool tables. So those are pool cues, I guess. And this is somebody putting money on the side because they're going to go next, I guess. And then not all tapestries. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about the not being able to think of words. It's a, it's a problem. More gambling back here more scuba back here some naughtiness going on it's a roulette table oh my god that's so cool i don't i love that it's so clever well done more gaming back here mm. Ula, one of these could be the blue that we're talking about. This is what I was thinking of. Either this or these two. If it possibly could be the blue that you are looking for. I'm not certain, though. And there's more to this, if I understood it. If we go upstairs, 
Ooh, a library. So you can come up here and read. And then another sneaky sneaky? Yes, another sneaky sneaky. All of the treasure. You gives me my treasures now. Okay, thanks. Very well hidden. Clevery stuff. This is fun. Lots of, you know, lots of places I would actually want to hang out. That's been interesting. Um, much appreciated. Okay, let's, let's go on to the next. Petite Sarah's Amaya. It is a clever house. Small tropical restaurant with flavors of the jungle. A warm place to eat on vacation to enjoy a relaxing and exotic atmosphere. And that's Petite Sarah's Amaya. I don't doubt it. Yeah, this is a fun house with lots of secrets. Secrets are fun. And the darkness of that house really kind of lends itself to the secrety stuff going on. Because you, you don't want people to be able to see what you're doing. You don't want anyone to know what you're up to. All right. So this is a tropical restaurant by Petite Sarah. We are in Amaya. It actually is a very tropical version of Amaya. Um, all these giant tropical plants, the trees are great additions, the flowers. What's, what's going on in this little section here? Oh, okay, we're making booze in here. I do like this, I think this, these walls are very much improved with the ivy growing on them. Don't be afraid to use ivy indoors like they did because that it actually does work in a lot of situations when you think it wouldn't. There's a piggy, ran away from me. And then Back rooms, we'll go there later. Let's go inside. I can almost smell the tropical scents. Hello, the little baby Raz. That's a spooky achievement, but it does fit. And you come in and then the zombie takes your money And then you go up the stairs. Really not adequate for uh, the handicapped, but neither is this house. And you've got smoke right by the bells. You've got a monkey. That's very exotic. Trees growing. I can almost hear the birds. I can imagine there's a lot of bird calls going on because all the trees. Got Numisma is serving cookies and beer, I guess. Cookies and Mazde or whatever you like. Turtle in a vivarium. A drummer. And this is where most I would think of it is. But that maybe there's some outside seating, too. Let's take a look. There is. So if you're like me, Ooh, you can sit in here and warm up too. But if you're like me, you want to eat outside when you can, so you have the outside seating. Ah, the kitchen. I would assume this would be the main kitchen. 
I need to make dubious and long fin. Excuse me while I make some dubious. I have extra long fin somewhere. Just gonna make use of the kitchen real quick. got the cakes. The cakes are being used more and more and I love to see them being used in more builds. We've got the ivy inside again. Like I said, I think it works. Ooh, a little garden. Raised gardening. And you can use a carpet as dirt, folks, if that's something you need. And look, they've got grapes and apples. So you, they grow their own produce. I think we're going to do one random and then call it for a while. Because I have to go eat something and then I can come back. Joshua! Hi, Sparrowhawk. I'm good. We are trying to... I may stream most of today because I'm ending up, I want to make the push for, for a thousand. And uh, so that means I'm going to be streaming a lot to try to get that push. But until then, um, I'm going to have to take breaks though because with my illness... Okay, and this is Vivek City Inn. This is Joshua. This is not one of the restaurant entries. I don't know which house. Sparrow. And then we have De St. Dylan's. Whoa! That it shot hair. It just moved out. All right. I'll see you later, Serafi, and I will continue to stream more of Housing's Finest tomorrow. No, I'm not going to Cyril. Oh, the ice one? I have not... Have you added it as an open house? I have not yet gone. Um, I probably can go later today. Uh, or or tomorrow. Either way, I'm going to have to take a break sh just now because I, I need to eat something. But I will be back. We're going to make a push for uh, the final people we need. Uh, let me check something. Trying really hard to get a thousand. Okay, who are we gonna? Okay, thank you. Enjoy your doggies. Oh, okay. I'm going to drop you off with Maddie. Because I don't see anyone else pl doing it that I'm playing Elder Scrolls anyway. So gonna raid Maddie. He's a real sweetheart, very family oriented in case you need that. And away we go. Are you today? Hype, 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 hype. Can I get a shout out for Stabity?